Hello again, YouTube. And uh, this is a LED that's been in my fridge for a little while. And it's got quite, well, the LED's gone pop. But I thought I'd show you this because it's quite an inter interesting way they've made this. So, you can break the seal along the bottom. So you just hold it with two clips and you just go pop them. And then the LEDs come out, you can see. And then, you see the one that's popped. So you can see like properly exploded, look at that. Boom. So something's gone wrong. But the way this is made is if we peel this back, you see all the LEDs are on like a flexi tape thing. And the circuitry is inside it. In fact, it even looks like the circuitry is on the flexi tape. So maybe we just peel this all off. He says doing this one handedly. Right, wait a minute. Let me get this started. All right, I've got it started, and you see this all just peels off around the outside. And then we are left with, look at that, an array of LEDs. It's quite clever. And so it is down there, how's that attached? To there. Is it just stuck in? Or is there must be something going down to the bottom? Well, I think I can see some wires down there. Right, okay. Um, so if you desolder that, will that then come off? And then normally this pit pump comes out. So let me just get some cutters and pull it out. Let's have a have a play. Yep, with a bit of persuasion from the cutters, that comes off. And you can see there's a wire there. So that is... A wire, so we just either cut that off or can we desolder it? How much room we've got? Probably nothing. No room that at all. And then probably the next connection is that solder blob, which I'll desolder now. Right, so can we desolder the blob? We can, but what's that achieve us? Something's coming out, something's happening. See so that I've managed to pull the board out a little bit. Just a little bit though. The bigger pair of pliers required. Bigger pair of pliers, can I just grab that and pull that? No, it's a question. Right, this might be a bit destructive. Might have to cut this out. Okay, let's um, get a bit more destructive of this. Right, got it out, and in the end I did it just by brute force and just pulling it, and you see there's a wire with a pad on the end. The pad is meant to live there, but you can at least see what this is meant to do. So yeah, so this is all just built around an entire flexi, and you've got live and neutral, big cap across the mains. Uh, is that going to be across the mains? Or are you probably fine, actually, no, because you've probably got... Yeah, neutral runs all the way up here to the rectifier, and then you've got plus and minus, and they go off to the caps, big cap there, and resistor as well. And there's all your LEDs. You're probably fine, they'll work, but that one has just decided to go nuclear. We can check that if we get a meter. Put it in diode mode, and then with one hand, so bang. Oh, 
see what I'm doing with these, can't you? Hmm. Or not. There you go. Okay, good lights up. So there you go, that's what they look like. Isn't it, isn't it pretty? There might be some dead ones in here because obviously this has had an event. But yeah, I thought that's quite an interesting construction technique, how then that how that is made. Made as a single panel and then sold it in and wired up. I thought that's quite clever. And then put it in there so it gets really, really hot and then the LED explodes. Because they're probably pushing tons of current through these LEDs. But yeah, that's it for now. Anyway, bye for now.